Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing today? I am your boy Celtic Intuition and I am here today to do the month of June reading. I gotta get caught up for the month of June. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. And I apologize about my hair, it's a little messy today, so I'm gonna get started. And this is for disclaimers used today. Um, if this does not resonate for you, then this is not meant for you. Do not force this to resonate. Um, also, um, some of, the, some of the things that I, I revealed today might not resonate or might not take place in, for a while, so um, do keep that in mind as well. This is for the month of June or the energies coming out of the month of June. For Sagittarius, I'm going to be using the Triple Goddess Tarot today, and I'll probably be using the Celtic. Um, it depends on what I get with this particular card. I might decide to use a different deck. I also wanted to say today, and I apologize about the cloth. I'm trying to get this flattened out. Um... I also wanted to tell you, if anyone who's going through any type of health issue, whether it be physical or emotional or mental, my best advice to you is to go see a doctor. I do not have the ability to write out a prescription or to give you um, advice dealing with your health. All I can do is tell you what is going on once again, and then it's up to you to go to see a doctor. So at that, I am going to get started today. I'm going to be doing a nine-card spread, and this is for the sign of Sagittarius. Um, so we'll see what we get here today. And I'm going to shuffle this multiple times. Alright, shuffle this one more time. I'm there we go. One more shuffle. I felt that shuffle. There we go. Okay, and cut the deck. Sagittarius, your card is starting off the Seven of Cups in reverse. So someone is having a lot of... Um, the Seven of Cups is your central thing. I kind of feel this is kind of a toxicity once again. We'll see what is going on here. Our next card is the Knight of Wands in Reverse. I'm getting a lot of Reverse cards for Sagittarius. The Hanged Man. The Sun card in Reverse. The High Priestess. I like seeing the High Priestess. A lot of major arcana cards already. The Ace of Swords. The Strength card, also known as the Mother. The Ace of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles here. Very interesting. So, wow. Um, we have a lot of reverse card states. That's one, two, three, four, five reverse cards out of nine cards. So, I'm going to go ahead and start our central theme today. I'm really feeling... Um, with Sagittarius, is basically just a lot of toxicity in your life. There's a lot of negative energy. And very interesting, um, I'm going to go ahead and start this today. I'm, I'm kind of itching because I'm, I'm seeing, once again, I'm seeing this. I wanted to show you, you see that, let's see if I can get a little closer today. You see this particular cup right here? It kind of has a cup, it kind of has the uh, bottle, kind of has a poison cross on skull bones. And that's the first thing that caught, caught my eye today when I seen this in reverse. Someone like someone... Um, Sagittarius, you're, you're searching for the wrong things. This would be you're looking for the right things and you're finding it once again. You have a wonderful relationship. You're looking at, you're not only you're looking for the right things, but you're finding the right things in a relationship. You're finding, yes, it is the good with the bad, with the ugly, but you're, overall you're getting a pretty good energy. This is in reverse today. So Sagittarius, when I'm looking at the Ace of Swords, and I'm going to the Ace of Swords in reverse, and I would normally say this represents... Um, 
the truth, the, 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 the word of truth once again, cutting the, tr the truth, setting you free once again. I'm seeing it's almost like maybe this is kind of a manipulative energy. If this is a relationship, I'm seeing kind of a very negative energy today, Sagittarius. And it's almost like maybe you're kind of isolated in your communications once again, Sagittarius. I'm feeling someone. The ace represents a karmatic lesson. And when I'm seeing one, it represents a karmatic lesson today, Sagittarius. So this is your energies for the month of June. So starting off, there is a, you have one first of June. Today is the first. You're having a karmatic lesson. It's almost like nothing is really going well. And at the ending, this is dealing with communications, your emotions, your thoughts, your ideas. At the ending, you have the Ace of Pentacles, which does deal with, this is an earth sign, so it deals with, the Ace of Swords is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Here we have the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It also just deals with money, finances, business, possible. But I'm seeing a lot of Earth in both cards. So I wanted to go ahead and tell you, for someone today, Sagittarius, you could have a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I'm getting a lot of Earth energies in these cards, even though I'm only getting two, or, um, two um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn cards. I'm getting a lot of Earth energy. So you could be a, Taurus, a Sagittarius, with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your charge, or you, this is um, this is dealing with someone who is an Earth sign. So looking at this today, Sagittarius, I wanted to show you. Maybe there's kind of an isolation. Isolation. We have the Ace of Pentacles, and it's almost like you're sitting there waiting. Um, maybe someone is paying attention to you, but they're not communicating with you, Sagittarius. This would be a beginning that is not happening. This would be the new beginning. I'm feeling if this is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I am feeling you see the, the pentacles in the shape of a seven. So there is something being complete. This could be an ending, maybe a cut in communication. I'm, I'm really itching really bad because I'm really feeling this. Um, there could be a cut in communication. Seven a lot of times, for most, for, it represents completion, uh, fulfillment as well. But the eight represents a new beginning. So... For some, this could be someone who has a job working with the hands. I'm um, a job working with the hands. I feel this could be a business that someone is wanting to start up today. If you're a Sagittarius, most likely a lady. Um, and you're wanting to start a business. There is some things, I feel you're not letting go of this. There's, maybe this could be an idea that maybe you're thinking about. Maybe you're not letting go of once again. And I am feeling there's, there's lessons being taught when it comes to this. Maybe pertain to your finances, your job situation. Um, I'm feeling kind of for some Sagittarius, it's almost like you're alone in a situation. You have the light shining in the window. But maybe you're waiting for something. Going on to this right here, I'm finding their strength returning. If this is someone who is sick once again, Sagittarius... Um, this could be someone who has been sick. The Sun card represents vitality when it's in reverse today. And then when I'm seeing the kind of the death card, the kind of the death as an energy, um, someone could be going through some sickness, illness. I'm seeing that there is strength returning. Uh, maybe someone has passed away. Maybe someone is really sick right now. I, I do feel there's going to be strength returning kind of towards the end of the month. I'm seeing a lot of negativity in, in relationships specifically for Sagittarius. Someone is not letting go of something. They're not letting go of hope. They're kind of, kind of clinging on to hope and not letting something go. Um, I'm going to go through with the first road today, Sagittarius, because the Ace of the Swords, very important today, Sagittarius. The Ace of Swords, once again, is... It's a beginning, it could be unification, but I'm getting this in reverse today. So it's almost like the sword is coming down. I'm feeling there is going to be communication, but it's almost like maybe it's, maybe it's communication with social media, um, long distance communication. And very interesting, it's not very healthy. If this is someone you're communicating with, um, Sagittarius is not someone, it's not a healthy communication, or it's not something that is going to be very healthy. Um, 
Looking at the second row today, Sagittarius, the Knight of Wands, it's almost like there's movement that is lacking. Going through this road, this could be maybe um, communication. Maybe there's been a lack of movement. Someone has been, has been refusing or has not been stepping up once again. Sagittarius may be communicating. Maybe this could be a relationship. Maybe this could be your, maybe this could be your ability to actually pursue your dreams, your career, um, pursue your goals and ambitions. I do feel you're going to receive strength once again, Sagittarius. I'm really feeling that. I am feeling, once again, it's almost like today for Sagittarius going down the middle row. For some, this could be sickness. Um, I am feeling there's kind of a spiritual connection. Um, interesting with Sagittarius, the High Priestess. I do feel it represents intuition, but it's like, almost like it's trying to connect with outside source. Um, I'm feeling there's kind of a connection coming. There's help from there's help from whatever your higher power is. There is definitely healing and help that is coming, especially when I'm getting the strength card in the same row. I'm getting for Sagittarius, if you're wanting to start a business, you may have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse towards the end, but you do have strength that is coming. There's a lesson. I'm feeling this is tying into a karmatic lesson. I feel there's growth that is happening, but you're learning is what I'm seeing today with the High Priestess, today Sagittarius. I'm feeling that you're not letting go of this hope for a job, better finances, better um, job, if this is a business, I'm, I'm feeling you're not letting go of it, and I do find this very positive today, Sagittarius. I'm going to clarify really quickly. Um, I'm saying there's, 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 it's not a bad energy during the month of June, but it's almost like you're getting rid of a lot of junk that is really holding you back, and there, there's a lot holding you back, Sagittarius, I feel. Um, I'm going to really quickly, I'm going to move on, and I'm going to use the... Um, the Celtic Tarot, because anytime I get kind of um, a card that shows possible illness, anything that could hint to death or anything, I like using this particular deck. And so we'll see what we have here. And I'm just going to move these cards back so I can shuffle. And I'm not finding really negative energy, Sagittarius. Nothing negative. I'm feeling you are going to have a new beginning. Alright, and we'll see. I'll cut this deck once again. And I'm gonna clarify. Um, I'm gonna clarify all the major arcana cards. So the Sun card. Okay, Spirit. This is for the Sun card, and we'll see what we got. The Nine of Wands. This could be during the time of Leo. I'm feeling that there's a birth that is coming uh, for someone. This could be maybe pertaining to your goals, your desires, ambitions. You have something within you. Uh, with the Sun card, this came up sideways. I wanted to show you. So what I'm saying with the Sun card is there's been a lot of negative energies. Whether you get rid of those negative energies and turn your situation around, it's up to you, Sagittarius. This could be any. This could go any way. You could either have a lot of success and give that growth, whatever's inside of you actually comes out of you once again, and you could move forward and have a new beginning with pertaining to your goals, your desires, your ambitions, your future in life. If you get rid of this negative energy, this is either or today. This could go any way today, Sagittarius. Um, you really got to turn um, a lot of negative issues around in your life. And this is for... You got the same way for the... Wow. The same, it felt the same way for the Hanged Man. So you came out sideways. So it's almost like... Maybe you're trying to, it's something that you're not seeing, do you really want to see the truth? That's what I'm getting. Maybe it's almost like being blinded in a situation, you have a blinder over your eyes. It's almost like you're needing to open your eyes and see reality is what I'm seeing today, Sagittarius. The Two of Swords could represent intuition, psychic abilities, but it's almost like seeing the moon today. This could re represent creativity, your dreams, fantasy. But I'm feeling, once again, that there's a lot of negative energy, something that could really create a, a lot of chaos in your life. But are you really going to feed into that? You've got to turn your situation around. I'm feeling there could be peace, there could be balance, there could be harmony. 
But you also could have chaos, that's what I'm saying today, Sagittarius. Someone needs to turn their own life around. I feel in Sagittarius, you bring balance. I feel the truth needs to come out. There's something that maybe is not being fully honest. Someone's not being fully honest with themselves. On the strength card, four chalices. This was upright. And so, the strength card today, the four chalices, I do feel this is during the month of Cancer. I feel in strength that is coming back. Interesting, we have the mother card. Um, so, um... Cancer, Cancer is the fourth house of astrology. I'm getting the four of cups. So I do feel that during the month of Cancer, um, I'm going to go ahead and say this. It's probably going to be towards um, the ending of Cancer, towards the middle or the ending, but not within the first week. I'm feeling, I'm feeling that with Cancer, there is help coming from outside source, from from outside, maybe from the universe, from your higher power. I feel that someone from the other side is going to be offering you help. Um, I feel there's spiritual help and spiritual strength that is coming in your relationships um, and your connections. Once again, I'm really feeling that for Sagittarius. There is going to be something that is going to be helping you to really put, turn things around in your life. May, are you going to be paying attention to that Sagittarius? The woman in here is not paying attention, so this could be a feminine energy. She's not paying attention. It's almost like someone is trying to offer herself on the other side. And what is she's focused on is these three cups. She's focused on, she's, she's almost like she's looking down. She's not focused on this wonderful cup, this wonderful relationship, or whatever this, this could be peace, this could be whatever it is, strength. She's not focused on that, but she's focused on something else and it's really distracting her. That's what I'm seeing for Sagittarius. Um... I'm getting um, possibly Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or during the time of Cancer. Um, to clarify the High Priestess today for Sagittarius, Spirit, what do you have to say? So I'm feeling this is your need to pay more attention to what is around you, Sagittarius. Pay more attention to your higher power. Pay more attention to Spirit. Um, Interesting, we'll see what this card is. I got the Justice card in reverse with the High Priestess. So you're not getting justice. This is a no. Um, if anyone is going through a situation, um, interesting. Justice is not going to happen. The High Priestess in reverse is basically saying that you're on your own. It's, um, the justice card in reverse is not going to happen. If it does happen, if you do get justice, it's not going to happen easily. Now, when you're getting the High Priestess, it's almost like you can turn situations around, I am feeling, but it's not going to happen. It's, it's a no. That's what I just want to say today, Sagittarius. I'm feeling today for some Sagittarius, the truth is coming out about something. Maybe someone has been playing someone dirty. Justice card is not in someone's Sag in some Sagittarius's favor today. Very interesting. Now, very interesting as well is I'm feeling with this that someone has been creating. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what the situation is. Someone has been holding someone bondage. Um, on this particular card, it, it shows a lion devouring a man. And it shows a man's tongue sticking out with chains coming out of their tongue. And it shows they've been, bond they've been, in other people have been in bondage to them. They've been holding people captive to their own tongue. It's almost like someone who is lying, someone who is manipulative. I feel that they've been manipulating people spiritually. And that's why I'm getting this. The truth is going to come out. The truth is coming out once again. Um... No, the truth is needing to come out. Look at this Ace of Swords in the beginning. Someone is having a problem releasing the truth. I feel this is opening up spiritually. They're lying to themselves is what I'm feeling. For some, this could be someone holding people spiritually bond. bound. Um, I feel a spiritual bondage. And someone is trying to reach out from a higher source, higher power, and you're ignoring it. This could be a spiritual bondage, Sagittarius. 
I'm feeling that you're in you're you're trapped by your own tongue, by your own words. I'm gonna further clarify that justice card one more time, and then I'm gonna see what the oracles have to say, and then as well as the uh, angel cards for Sagittarius. And I'm not going to use all these cards. Once again, this is a single card for Sagittarius to further clarify that Justice card. I was kind of curious. Here we go. The King of Wands. Someone, someone has been causing a lot of problems. This could be someone. Um, King of Wands is someone who is causing a lot of problems. Maybe messing with your your desires, your ambitions, your goals, trying to really destroy your future. Someone who's been manipulative, controlling, a control, a, a person in authority has been a control freak. Someone who's been controlling you. Um, really a controlling, possessive person. This could be someone who's literally not allowing someone to be free. Really kept it, keeping them in bondage, keeping them trapped. Really controlling and possessive. Sagittarius, this could be a masculine energy who is trying to control, to possess you, to try to control your life. And is keeping you bound to them. Justice is needing to be done. Someone is not, the justice card isn't reversed, it's a no. So someone has a lot of um, energies today. A lot of negative energy Sagittarius. I'm going to use the um, Oracle cards today, and then I'm going to use the Angel cards. Yeah, there is one moment. This is the one card message that Spirit has for... Actually, I'm going to do a couple cards. We'll see what Spirit has for Sagittarius today. That's the 20th card. 29. 45. So 20, 29, and 45, and we'll see what those cards today. The number 20 card. The lilies forecast a happy life, but family stars are surrounded by clouds lying above the person seeing them as virtue of life, but under indicates immor immorality. Um, so someone is definitely controlling. I'm seeing family stars once again, but that is kind of the energies we have today for Sagittarius. I'm going to draw the 29th card. The mouse denotes loss by theft, near it. Um, it denotes recovery after great difficulty, but distant to lost will be irretrievable. So we have um, someone is going um, through a lot of issues in their life. It's almost like someone is trying to take from you, someone is trying to control you, someone is stealing. Um, I feel there's going to be recovery for, for some, this possible recovery. And the 40th card, we'll see what the 40th card has today. If you do break loose from the Sagittarius, you have the wine, which is a symbol of cheerfulness and gaiety. So that is what you could have for your future today is what I'm seeing today. 
for um, Sagittarius, it is up to you once again. I'm seeing the queen. I'm feeling this is a feminine energy. So I'm feeling a feminine energy is being bound, but your future is looking pretty decent. Um, I'm really seeing that. And I'm going to go to the angel card, say, see what the angels have to say. And this is for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you have the Angel of Flame. So, I'm feeling... We had this just a moment ago. Sagittarius, I said someone was going to be reaching you from an outside source. This could be a relationship as well. And I wanted to say this, Sagittarius. This is going to be something that is giving you strength. That is really going to be ending, I feel, ending some other things in your life. Um, it's really going to help you move away with a lot of negative issues. This could be your soulmate. I don't like saying soulmate. This could be your twin flame. That is possible. I don't like saying that. But when I get the card, that's, that's what it's saying once again. So we do have something that is coming um, for Sagittarius. As I'm saying, you're not getting justice in the issue. Someone is not getting justice or it's a really harsh situation. But I'm feeling once again, someone is going to be offering you help once again, Sagittarius. And it is going to be happy. You are, you are having a happy ending. Um, I am saying during the time of cancer, that is what your future is looking like. And I'm going to do one more angel card today. This is for Sagittarius. Angel of Judgment. So interesting. Interesting. The angel of judgment with the angel of flame. So when I'm getting this, I wanted to show you. This kind of turns things around. Maybe you have done something. Uh, maybe someone has been judging the justice card, judgment card. Very interesting today. The person who might not be who might might not not be getting justice is the person who has been creating the problems. It's almost like someone did something, defended themselves. That is a possible scenario. When I'm getting this stone, kind of the stone being sharpened. Um, I'm feeling for some Sagittarius, maybe you had to defend yourself, maybe this was judgment. I'm feeling someone was being judged, this could have been an actual court case, but justice is just, it's just a tough situation right now when it comes to justice. If someone has been causing cause for you, this could be a court case, a legal battle. I'm feeling that it's not going as planned Sagittarius, but you are getting out of it. You're getting, you're getting out of it, there's judgment that is taking place, but it's not the way as... Maybe as it, you thought it was going to be. It's what I'm seeing Sagittarius. And I want to confirm this with the third angel card. Came out sideways. Angel of Truth. Um, will the truth come out? It is up to you. It's what I'm seeing today. It came out sideways. So we have the Angel of Truth. The truth needs to come out. This is what I said with the Two of Swords as well. The Ace of Swords. Um, came out the same way. So it depends on if you, um, if the truth has come out, if the truth is fully spoken once again, Sagittarius, that's what's going to determine a lot of things. Once again, I do want to say thank you for coming to Celtic Intuition Astrology Predictions 3000. Kind of a little different reading today, but do let me know how, if this does resonate with you. Um, it was kind of weird, but, um, let me know. Do feel free to comment, um, to like and subscribe. And thank you for coming to Astrology Predictions 3000. I am your boy Celtic Intuition and thank you, Sagittarius.